How's it going folks? In today's video I'm going to attempt to salvage these trainers using these tools. Stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the laces out of the trainers because I don't want to clean them while the laces are in and I can throw them into a bowl of bleach or into the wash just to get them a bit whiter. So I'm going to completely Now that these are delaced, I'm going to put a towel down and I'm going to take one of these soft brushes. Now I just picked these up on the cheap, you can get them from any sort of shop. Go to Timson's maybe, you pick them up there. And it's just a couple of different shoe brushes. I'm just going to go around the trainers and just make sure that there is no surface dust. So now that that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the midsoles first. And I'm going to do that using one of these magic erasers, you can pick them up from any supermarket, and a bowl of hot water. Not hot, just slightly warm. Um, I'm going to give these a quick clean around the midsoles just to try and take off any of the surface dirt. This is actually a workout treat, you can see it's lifting the stains already on the midsole. Um, it's starting to sparkle again, which is good. Now you'll probably start to notice that the sponge does begin to flake when you hit the grain on the Adidas logo. So just try and not press too hard. Just Lightly go round, it should still do the job. Need to just get in on the nitty gritty bits a little bit more. Around the front. Now the one thing this won't clean is the stitching. The stitching itself still looks quite dark, so that's something you'll just have to live with, I think. <laughs> Two trainers side by side just so you can see and the fair difference between the two soles don't know if it shows up on camera but it's a huge difference so now i'm going to do this trainer that one to the, side. the video that i watched said to only use this in the midsoles but whilst i was cleaning this trainer i've noticed that it's actually cleaned this part up quite well so i may take it and run it around the entire trainer and just see what happens. Um, I've got nothing to lose, so let's give that a go. Yeah, this, this is literally saving my life at the moment. This is so easy to clean. It could be ruining the material, but it certainly doesn't look like it. And it's taken off any stain that it's coming across. Granted there are some scratches, but this is really doing the job. Pretty clean trainer, already done, don't know if you can tell, but the Stan Smith logo was kind of cream before from dirt, and this one is just a massive difference on it already. So that's very successful in my eyes. I'm really liking how that's turned out. Now to do the next one. Trainers are all cleaned up now. 
I had to go through one and a half of these, the other one kind of just fell to pieces, but super cheap. It was 149 for four, so that's not an issue. Trainers are looking really good. Um, there are a few marks on them, just from general wear and tear. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. I can't restitch it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clean these laces up a bit. They are pretty dark, so I'm not holding out too much hope. If it doesn't turn out how I want it to be, I'll probably just buy brand new laces. But all I'm going to do for those is a bowl of hot tap water. So let the tap run until it's really hot. Put it in a bowl. Grab some just washing powder. This I'm going to use just Daz. Pop it in. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. Give it a little swirl. Oh, that's pretty hot. And then just pop these laces in. And give them a little rinse about. So make sure they're completely soaked. That's really, really hot. Make sure your hands don't get burned when you're using this because this is pretty hot. Um, just going to leave them in that bowl there. Let them soak for an hour. And then I'll take them back out. I'm going to let these trainers dry a little bit. And I'll catch up with you again soon once this is done. And bring this in. This stuff here is the Angelus Flat White Acrylic Leather Paint. We're going to use this to just give them a bit more life. Now the water's quite cold, so I'm just going to take them out, give them a quick rinse out. Just to get off any excess water. Pop it in there. Just pat them dry a little bit. Now, they haven't come out perfect. There are still some darker bits, but I can live with that for just now.